Hey, welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today we're checking out Godfall on the Xbox Series X again. So, it's been a few days since I made a video. Um, I noticed that a lot of people want to watch these videos. They want some more information. They want better information. So, we're going to get into a little bit more of what this game has to offer, what kind of game it is, and if it is worth your time and investment into... Um, if, if you're a spec builder, if you're somebody that is really into, uh, building specs and, and building up games and, um, uh, specking up your character for the long haul grind. So this game right here literally is set up amazingly for a loop grind. It is, you can, so I'm, I'm still in the first area. Uh, I got about 10 hours in here. I have just basically just been grinding out. Um, all of this content, you can start this over as many times as you want. It starts out the exact same. Um, it's, it kind of feels like you would be playing something like destiny. Uh, see, I'm just, I'm just smashing those things now because I'm my, my build's getting better. Uh, I'm, I'm liking this from what I can see and what I've played so far. Like as you, as you get built, as you build your character up, it gets easier and easier to uh, to grind, to level up. This this is technically a looter uh, a looter slasher uh, with a with a pretty decent aesthetic to it. Um, you get these harder guys out here. Ooh, you can uh, you you get not only can you build your like you uh, you upgrade your equipment and uh, your 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 equipment your your uh, your valor plate you can up also upgrade the uh, um you get different types of oh man i'm gonna die if i don't move um you get more types of uh oh, dang I'm trying to talk and fight at the same time it's not ever been my easy or it's not ever been gosh dang these guys are blocking everything so you gotta take them out it kind of feels a little bit, kind of feels a little bit like God of War 2018, to tell you the truth and the combat and, and all of that stuff. But when it comes to uh, looting and gathering stuff to to upgrade your equipment, um, you can get, you can upgrade your weapons. So the little dots up above there, like the little white dots where it says, um, where on my on my sword right here, you can upgrade it to a level six or whatever. And you can uh, infuse more points into it and stuff, making your weapons a lot stronger. Um, over here in the armory, um, these are the weapons that you'll like collect as you're like going through the world. Now, you're, you're not going to collect armor in the world, per se. But you will collect resources and stuff. Um, all of this right here, like Sun Steel, Dragon Steel, Valor Plate Core. All of this right here can be used to create other, other um, more Valor... More... Uh, <laughs> more valor plates at the uh at the armory or whatever uh well when you go back to the thing and then over here let's go to gosh dang it yeah it's a valor plate so if you go over here augments you can put these augments inside your in in, in your in your suit that give you like this one right here is 35 vitality uh gosh dang it i didn't mean to do that uh shards i haven't unlocked any of those yet but those are supposed to be like some end game stuff skills these are skills that can make your make things so much better this right here um this finesse will make you slide on the ground so there are things some of these right here you can level up you know as you can see you can go level one level two level three level five um you can you can do a pretty dang good build on on these uh on this on this game for the most part if you want to change the color of your your valor plate um you can definitely do that when you unlock things see i mean like this one here is none this is the regular one i am rocking the silver lion right now because that one looks pretty freaking cool uh let me let me get back out of out of here let's just go ahead and finish what we need to do on this right here so that we can so that i can get back into the thing and show you uh, well, actually, this level is kind of long. So, 
you run through, you grind everything out, and then you go back to, you'll go back to the, uh, to the, to the place where you can, you can get to the forge and you can create new weapons. You can, you can, uh, oh boy. Sorry, I'm watching this on my little screen on my laptop while I'm trying to, uh, trying to talk. I should probably just record like some gameplay and do this, but this is my style. This is the way I like to do it. This is the way I like to, uh, to tell you what's going on. There's see like all of this stuff right here. You just run around in the world, you collect it. Th these levels are literally designed for multiple playthroughs, multiple, uh, multiple, um, multiple times for you to, uh, go through them and, and, uh, um, collect everything in them. The, the enemies do get harder they do they do scale pretty well as you can see i'm a level 13 so now everything is kind of scaled to my level so you're always getting good solid loot you're always getting good solid um experience from this now you do have a regular level system like say i'm 13 right now you do level up just from like combat and stuff so that is it 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 feels it feels pretty complete now this game did not feel this good when it first launched when it first launched, man, this game was pretty freaking rough. There was a lot missing. Now that it's on Xbox, it is a completely a completely different experience. And you know, to tell you the truth, um, I do have it on PlayStation 5 still. On the PlayStation 5, you still only get 4K 30 or 1350p in, you know, performance mode. Where at the Xbox, if you're rocking uh, a 4K um, a 4K display that has 120 hertz, then you will in fact get um, in MVRR. You will in fact be able to play this game at resolution mode at 60 frames a second. Now, if you've if you can kind of tell a little bit, there there is a little bit that's going on with the. Uh, oh wow! Look at that! I'm a raider. I've uh, unlocked a million of those 50 chests. So I mean, as you can see, yeah, I have put a little bit of time in here. I have been switching back and forth, you know, trying to play a lot of. Uh, Trying to play a lot of um, uh, what you call it, Elden Ring too, but this this game here is definitely worth the thirty dollars to to be able to experience that. Okay, we got one more over this way. These little things that you got to find to unlock these chests. I think I thought it was up here. Yeah, there's like two of them over this way. They'll have like the little blue dust that goes over. Yep, it's right there. Oh man, I can't even hit it because I'm freaking bad at what I do. Ah, uh, wait, you gotta wait for that to charge up. Uh, that's not funny. Okay, so I guess I gotta wait for that to charge up because I want you to see what's in that case. Really? That's. Oh, there we go. Okay, so oh, it was over here. So after you knock out three of those little things, you'll be able to open these chests, and these chests usually have some pretty decent. Um, oh, come on, open it up, Warren. These chests here will usually give you like I got that ring. I just got um, a breath augment. So yeah, I mean this is the first level. So I mean you'll you'll be you'll be grinding this a lot if you want to build your character and get your specs up pretty quick. You are going to be. Oh, it's a blocky guy. Those guys there are much better off to just to parry. Because those big guys right there, they parry. They, they they don't parry you, but they block every single thing you throw at them. So learning how to parry those guys is going to be pretty important. And it's usually ah dang it. Yeah, and once you parry them, then you can just do a shield bash on them. <clears throat> the combat in this game, like honestly, it depends on what weapon you use. Like if you want to be a, like a like if you want to weld a heavy weapon, you can weld a heavy weapon. Um, an agile spear, uh, sword, all kinds of stuff. Like this game is pretty, pretty.
pretty freaking deep to tell you the truth. Like I really appreciate um, the changes and everything that they made to this game because at first when this game first came out, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to lie to you. Like this game felt so generic. It wasn't even funny. It just didn't even feel like a, it, it, it almost felt like a tech demo to be completely honest with you. When I was playing it, I was like, man, this game just feels like a tech demo. It's like they want to show off all the, the pretty, the, the pretty graphics and stuff. And that's, that's literally what it felt like. But this game has come a long ways and it has, it has blossomed into something that's actually worth freaking playing. I mean, like watch this guy, he'll shoot at me. Boom. Oh, she's, I missed. <laughs> But once you get these guys down, boom. Uh, you got like special powers that you can call out. I just called out like a, like a bunch of guys to come out and help me. Not a bunch of guys, but you can use like the, the power and the valor plate to bring them out. You can use that. You can. I mean, it's it's fun. Like I know I'm just playing around in the first level still because I'm still trying to build my character. When I play these kind of games, I usually just kind of grind because as as you start getting a little bit farther, man, it starts getting a lot harder, a lot harder. You got to be more on your toes. So I would recommend spending some time grinding. And this is that's the weird thing about this, because this game is not really that bad of a deal to sit and grind out like it's pretty freaking fun now to to be completely honest with you now. I mean, I can go over here and check some more boxes and stuff. I've done this already like 30 times. Oh, you, you do, you probably do want to collect all this stuff. It's fun to just, it's, it's not necessarily fun. It's part of the freaking part of the experience to, uh, to, to grind through these games as much as possible so that you can, cause that's what it's made to be. That's, that's what it's made. It's a grind and it is a, I would say the grind level's pretty acceptable on this. Pretty acceptable for the most part. You get up here. Uh, oh, look, it's my best friend. How you doing bestie? Oh, hi, buddy. Yeah, so, and this is like the first boss dude. You grind him out, and then he's got these these attacks that you just kind of move away from. Like, once you learn, like, after you fight him so many times, you'll learn his moveset so much that you can just, that you can just, like, literally just, just trash him. Whew. Yeah, like I've I've gotten pretty good to where I'm. Well, you'll fight this first phase. Oop, red ones. He usually follows those red ones up by another red one. Get out of his little ring of fire. Um, this guy's not too tough at all, but you just gotta kind of just be patient with him. Just wait for him to throw down. He jumps. Just get out of his way. Um, you've got like things too that you can put down like this totem that will give you more power and stuff. It makes it so you don't take as much damage when you're fighting them too. My little my little slide move now is pretty freaking cool. Like that totem is pretty freaking cool. It like reheals you and stuff as you're as you're fighting. And then he just disappears, and then you got to go find him again. And then your totem will recharge, and then you can redeploy it when you need to. Um, it it's this is pretty cool. Like this game here, like it gives you plenty of options to where you can, uh, uh, where you can figure, like where you can uh, um, really min max your build on this game. Like I'm not good at min max. I'm not good at all. Um, I. I usually play these games for the story, but this one here I'm actually putting a little bit of time and effort into because me personally, I like hack and slash games. So um, this might be that one that's like, oh yeah, it teaches me how to like really get into the whole min-max thing. I played a lot of Destiny, so I'm not like completely oblivious to it, but the way that Destiny did it, just I, I, I didn't like the way Destiny um I, I, I did like it, but I didn't like how, how much it changed and how often because it was like right when I would start to figure something out and learn how to do it, it was like, boom, right back in your face. Nope, you got you to gotta relearn all that again. Yep, you start to figure out where these guys are, and then boom, you just go to town on them. See, I mean, the movement in this game is so fast. 
it doesn't even feel bad at all. Like, <laughs> um, this Xbox version, if you have 120 hertz display, yes, you do get a 1080p at a 120 that you can play this in. Oh, this little shooty guy over here, man. He's just getting me in. Boom. Boom. Oh. Oh, man, that guy's getting a little bit rough. And then they drop the... Oh. Come on, dude. Yeah, it's just better to learn how to freaking... I mean, and, and it kind of forces you to do that. It kind of forces you... This game kind of forces you to uh, to learn how to... Um, to learn how to... Uh, um, parry and block and all the enemy types. Which ones you need to worry about. Which ones you need to go through first. Uh, these guys right here. These little shooter guys. And, uh, now we're back to our, our little boss friend again. Hopefully there's something good in this chest for me. Um, I'm just kind of playing through this first level for you, you know, just to kind of show you the, the, like the fastest speed I can do. You just get out here with this guy, play around with him again. Uh, if you need to, set your totem down. Get out of the way. Take out the shooty guy first. Why that guy's over there busy with his little fire. Um, and then he'll get out and jump. Whoop. Yep, go ahead and well on him for a minute. Just out of the fire. The fire will burn you, but it's really not that bad. It goes away pretty quick. Get this guy out of my freaking way. You can take a lot more punishment with that freaking with your totem out. Make sure you get your health stuff lined up. Oh, man, I walked right into that one. I love that thing. That move's pretty cool. Like, you can jump over there and hit him and stuff. It's not really that strong or anything, but... Oh, dang. You can't block... When they, when they turn red like that, you can't block those ones, so don't even try. It's just a... Or that purple. And then he'll follow that up with a red. Yep. And when he follows that up, two hit. You'll see him when he sucks in all the energy. And then he'll... Oh, wait. I got healing eyes. Huh, I didn't even know those I had those. I was all trying to... Now the bosses in here do get harder. They'll come with like three, uh, like the bigger bosses. They'll have three types of, uh, they'll have three types of, uh, um, like hit health bars. Uh, once you take out uh, one of their health bars, if you die in that fight, like you do start over, you will get, you will get to, uh, you'll that health bar will stay down. But they. Uh, you have to take off a certain amount of the second bar beneath it for it to stay that way. The the boss, the main boss of this area, it was it was it was kind of it was kind of pain in the butt. Like this dude here is just kind of like a general. He's not really like the oh my gosh boss. He's the he's the I'm gonna beat you, the brakes off you, buddy. Just so that he can. He's just guarding a door or something. Oh yeah, he'll grab you too if you if you stay in there too close for too long. He'll grab you up and, and that kind of hurts. Oh, man, you tried. Whoa, dang, he got me with that one. Oh, yeah, you can throw the spear at him. I forgot about that. I forgot the spear has that throw move to it. That's so cool. Uh, oh, you got two of them. Yeah, you got two of them. So don't waste them too much. Oh, man. He did two fires in a row. 
Yeah, he's definitely gotten more challenging because he's a, a level 13 too, so this fight's taken a lot longer. <laughs> a lot longer than it normally would. Bink, here. <laughs> I mean, this this game is pretty freaking cool. Like, I I do love it. Whoa. Let me, let me help you out with that, sir. Oh, see, yep, he'll grab you. And that kind of hurts a little bit. Not too much, though. Oh, I'm out of I'm out of throws. I was gonna try to throw it at him again. I mean, they do recharge, so that's that's pretty cool, too. I mean, in the heat of battle, sometimes you'll like once you learn the systems in this game, like it gets so good. Like normally, I would fight him with this sword, but oh. <coughs> Oh, he's mad again. I made him mad. They're kind of like uh, little hit sponges, too. Oh. But then once you get him, boom. You just go ahead and take him out. Get all that freaking loot. It's like, oh, man, and I got to level up. So, yeah, so I've leveled, I've leveled myself up to 14. Just by smashing this dude for <laughs> for a lot, because it does take a little while to level up. But once you once you level up and stuff, man, like, like this game, the more stuff that, that that unlocks for you, I don't know what the the max is, but I know that this game is going to have a pretty decent min max build. You, it, it it's already feeling like really um really to a point where I'm getting powerful now. So I'm I'm really really enjoying what it has to offer. So if you like this content, I hope I went enough into detail into this game for you this time. I do believe it's worth the 30 bucks. I do believe that you can, you'll, you'll have fun with this. The $30 price tag really is what is really what makes this more intriguing to be completely honest with you, because you're not paying $70 or 80 bucks. Like I paid, I paid 70 bucks for it on PlayStation five when it first came out. And like I said earlier in this, uh, this review, it felt like a tech demo. Like it literally felt like a tech demo. It was like, wow, that looks cool. But the combat just felt cheap. It just felt like, you know what I mean? Like it was like, wow, this, this is it. Like I, it, it felt so generic that I just put it down. Um, I have played it since then a little more. I've got about five hours on the PlayStation 5. I'm already at like um, 10 or 11 hours on the Xbox version playing this because it's 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 a lot better. I am a lot farther into the game, but I'm just showing you the very first level, um, the very first part, the very first thing that you'll start. That, that's all I'm showing you. I'm not trying to spoil this game or do anything for you. I want you to be able to experience this your way on your like the, the way you want to experience it without without me really like <laughs> without me like really um spoiling a whole bunch but there there is enough in this game to to give you a rewarding experience especially at that price point wow wow you get literally everything all the paid dlc that i paid for on playstation 5 everything and there is a bonus if you want when you first start this game you can jump right in to um it, it it has like 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 you're already maxed out like your max level it's all end game um you you can jump right in there and you can see exactly how them builds work so i mean it is pretty cool in that sense but i mean if you're like me and you spent 30 bucks on it you're, you're gonna want to play from the beginning and just go through and figure out everything on your own so there's plenty of options with this game now um, I have jumped in there and played some of the end game stuff. It does feel really freaking good. It feels a lot better than than what I imagined it was gonna when it, what it was gonna play when I first got it. Um, it and that came out a few months ago on the PlayStation. It was like a free update or whatever. But this is pretty cool. This game does come a long way. It has come a long way. It looks really good on Xbox Series X. It it's pretty decent on Xbox Series S. You do, if you have 60 FPS enabled and you do have like VRR, I mean, it still feels a little bit rough in some areas for sure. Uh, hopefully they can patch that, get that running a little bit better, maybe a little bit more optimized. I feel like they could definitely do that and give you a lock 60 on this game. Um, but other than that, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with what this has to offer now. And I hope that this uh, review... Um, I hope that this review was a little bit more in depth for you 
and really helps you understand exactly what kind of game this is, what you're getting into, and why I believe that this is worth your money now. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one, and thank you for coming.